Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about top 5 best tablets for coding. Starting at number 5. Asus ROG Flow Z13. Asus's groundbreaking 2-in-1 gaming tablet is a feat of engineering, creating a Microsoft Surface-like device with internals suitable for gaming with mixed results. It's chunkier than most tablets, the build is superb, and gaming performance lags behind laptops with similar specs. It's also very expensive. That said, when we reviewed the device we found that for content creation workflows, it does a nice job. The screen, which has a slow response rate for gaming, offers excellent pixel density, decent color accuracy, including Pantone validation and 85% coverage of the DCI P3 color space. The 60Hz refresh is something of a limitation when it comes to latency when using the touch interface, and the speakers could be better, but for a tablet PC that can pack a punch, this is a very interesting option. See our in-depth Asus ROG Flow Z13 review for more details. Coming at number 4. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. If Android is your OS of choice, then we recommend the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It benefits from a slim, sleek design, a brilliant, punchy 14.6-inch screen, and plenty of power. The iPad supports more creative apps and has a brighter display, but can't compete when it comes to size and versatility. On the whole Android apps tend to be less well adapted for tablets, so Android tablets as a whole aren't the ideal choice for video editing. Still, there are plenty of options, so by all means play around and see what's out there. See our guide to the best video editing apps for details. For more information, read our full Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra review. At number 3. Apple iPad Air. The iPad Air isn't far behind the iPad Pro these days, making it an excellent choice for anyone who wants that Apple quality but doesn't quite want to drop the levels of dollar required for the latest iPad Pro. The computing power here is still pretty impressive, with the top flight M1 chip that also powers the iPad Pro 2021. It's more than enough for all but the most demanding video editing. The all-screen design of this fourth-generation iPad really lets you sync into your work, and you can also use the smart connectors to add accessories like Apple's smart keyboard if you don't fancy working entirely with the touchscreen. The high-resolution display looks great, it's 60 Hz, not 120 Hz like the iPad Pro range, but it's still a solid choice for editing video. Read our iPad Air 2022 review for more. Number 2 of my list. Microsoft Surface Pro 9. The line between tablet and laptop is pretty blurry these days, especially when it comes to this latest Surface Pro from Microsoft which runs Windows 11. If you're already editing on a PC, it's easy to hop onto the device, as all your programs and apps will work on it, and it's got enough horsepower to handle high-quality footage with ease. Just be sure to pick the Intel model rather than the SQ3 model. Our reviewer found it perfectly capable of running video editing and art software, such as Photoshop and Premiere Pro, although it wasn't quite as fast as a full laptop. Like the iPad Pro, it's an expensive proposition for sure, but you really are getting a lot of power for your money, on a device that's easy to stow in a bag and take everywhere with you. Overall, we're happy recommending it to any serious video editors who want to stay in the Windows ecosystem. For more details, read our full Surface Pro 9 review. And number 1. Apple iPad Pro. If money is not object, there's really no question, the 2022 edition of the iPad Pro 12.9-inch is the best tablet for video editing. With its powerful M2 chip, which Apple claims is 15% faster than the previous M1 chip, featuring in 2021 iPad Pros, it's more than capable of handling even large 6K video files without issue. Adobe's Premiere Rush app is pretty well optimized for iPad, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad is now here and the peak brightness of 1,600 nits and a 1,000,000 to 1 contrast ratio is ideal for editing HDR content. As we noted in our iPad Pro M2 2022 review, the iPad now has support for ProRes video capture, so you can even use it to film video, if that's your thing. 
The only real sticking point is the price, which is pretty hefty, and only gets higher when you consider that you'll also need to shell out extra for any accessories you want, like the Apple Pencil or Magic Keyboard. You may want to consider one of the older iPads, some of which are detailed below. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.